Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is CNBC's Trading Nation. Traders, we're going to take a look at the setup in GLD. This is the ETF that tracks the gold market. The gold market has rallied up into resistance, I think offering us a nice opportunity to establish shorts. So first, let's take a look at GLD. This is again the ETF that tracks the underlying gold market. We've seen a pretty nice sell-off here into the election. There's the, the election acceleration. Since then, we've bounced back um, a bit as the dollar has sold off. We'll talk about that in one second. But specifically, how much has this gold market bounced back? And this is an interesting little technical tidbit for you. If we do a fib retracement off the high all the way down to the low, and we zoom in here just a touch, you're gonna see that we went right up to the 50% retracement, which is a pretty, it's a pretty common technical level. It's what we call half back. So it's, it's recaptured half of what it lost um, heading up into the election. So it looks like we should be able to continue the downtrend from about uh, 116. I'm gonna put, set up a little options trade to get down to about the 110 mark, not an all out breakdown, just to get us a little downside movement here in GLD. Um, just to confirm that, let's take a look at the dollar. It's, they're enjoying quite a nice opposite relationship. So the dollar is showing a very similar chart, but just exactly the opposite. So the dollar has rallied up into and after the election. We've set back here in a little pullback, but it looks like the dollar has found support and is ready to continue, continue higher, which is gonna help that gold market push lower. So let's head over to the trade tab here. I have a setup um, in the March monthlies. We're gonna go ahead and buy the 115 put slightly below the market. It's a slightly out of the money put, which will give us a more attractive reward to risk ratio. So we're gonna buy the 115 put. We're gonna match that up with the sale of the 110 put, do a 115, 110 put debit spread. It's a debit of $1.02. That's what we are gonna invest in this trade, which is $102 per option spread we're trading. So down here along the purple line, that's the max risk that you'll take in this trade, $102 per option spread you're trading. Our break even point is going to be just about $114 and change. Max profit will be up here at the top at about $398. So certainly a positive reward to risk ratio. That is the trade. Uh, let's set this loose, review, and that trade is now working. As always, we typically use a 50% stop at that dollar row two debit that we just paid goes down to about 51 cents. Let's cut the trade, protect what premium is left and simply move on to the next trade. Otherwise, one tends the goal here in GLD. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck on that trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation to keep updated on this position as well as all the other trades our traders are working. And we'll see you guys in the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.